30. The overturning of Roe v. Wade is pushing Connecticut lawmakers now to protect women's rights. They have strengthened abortion rights, and now there's more access to birth control. In fact, one proposal would allow vending machines on college campuses. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live for us this afternoon on the campus of Central Connecticut State University with some reaction for us. Hi there, Susan. Hi there, Mark. Currently, you know, you can buy birth control at a drugstore, but the plan now would be to allow that birth control to be sold here on a college campus. Now, the proposal that's going through the legislature would not only allow birth control, but it would allow plan B, and that is the medication that you have to take within a few hours, which can prevent a pregnancy. But some of the students that we spoke to feel that having it just be sold at a pharmacy is not enough and that they would like to see more access. Yeah, I believe that all women should have the right to have access to whatever they need, especially on campuses where we're all adults here. We should be able to get any health care we need in any state. Now, birth control seems to be a very uh, prioritized issue, if you will, this legislative session. There are two proposals, not only to allow birth control to be sold in vending machines and college campuses, but also to allow pharmacists not only to dispense birth control, but also prescribe it. And this is because many people feel that a lot of women don't have access to health care. Maybe they can't see their doctor very often. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 and 7, we'll take a closer look at some of these proposals and why this is something that Republicans and Democrats are supporting. For now, we are live at CCSU in New Britain, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan